I always wanted to have my own business. As an employee, I never liked working at a job. I wanted to own something myself instead of working for somebody else. I love running business. I love starting business. I love figuring things out. I love doing a million different things in a day. And then it was just like, done. February 2020, we had around 350 members. We had 10 people on staff and we were running close to 60 classes a week, I wanna say. And then, uh, and then in March, co like COVID started. <laughs> I'm already gonna cry. Um, before this, we, like, we just used tea tree oil to clean everything. No, like, <laughs> no hospital grade, like sanitizers, nothing. Like, tea tree oil was our main cleaner. There would be 25 people, easy. Like, you couldn't put your hands up without touching them, you know? Um, and people were starting to get concerned about it, right? Went to Walmart. They were out of Lysol, all the disinfecting stuff. They were out of toilet paper. I got to the studio and I was sitting there with an instructor, Kelly, and I was like, I don't know what it is about today, but like, this is the first day. <sighs> this is the first day that I'm actually scared. I was sitting there and people were texting me and they're like, you know, people are saying that they're gonna close businesses. And I was like, that night, good life. Um, put out post and like they're the biggest gym, right? So that they were gonna close. I didn't sleep that whole night. I woke up at 5 a.m. and I researched all web streaming platforms. I never ever heard of Zoom in my life. So I was like, we're gonna turn all of our classes into online classes. And um, we're gonna we're gonna do it right now. Exhale, draw the palms in towards the shoulders. Put right hand down towards the left knee, look back over the left shoulder. And doing that nice long stretch. We closed Monday morning. We had online classes running on Monday night. We didn't know what we were doing at all. Like we didn't know how to do sound. Like we're just using a webcam that I got another camera and it sucked. And like the thing would just crap out. No one knew where to get the links. So yeah, so that was, that was March. <laughs> In January and February, like there were wait lists in every class, like we were doing amazing. And it's just like, oh, I just wanted back. Like, I feel like I worked for it. I feel like I did everything right. And I just, yeah, it just hurts, it's just hard. I sometimes wonder if in March, if I had known what I was about to go into. I don't know if I would have stayed with it because I can't even like describe to you how, am I allowed to swear? <laughs> um, how fucked up this, this whole thing has been. Like, you know, it's, there's been amazing things. There's been so much help and support and community. One of our classes had 80 people in it, one of our streaming classes, because that's how much everyone wanted to try to support us, you know? But um, that depression and that anxiety and that roller coaster, like, that, like, messes with you. It kind of takes away your feeling of stability, like, at any time everything can go wrong. That's, I know that sounds super depressing. <laughs> there were so many good things that happened through this year. Not the least of it, knowing that I will be able to cope with whatever gets thrown my way. But when we survived and so many places didn't, like there is a feeling of gratitude there. And it is because the staff working so hard to keep people engaged. And it is the community being like, it doesn't matter what happens, I'm keeping my membership. Those people that did that, like, they're amazing. You know, it's such a small thing for them, but it's, it's everything to us. 